Australia has found itself doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to mobilizing international opinion against China. Prime Minister Scott Morrison has spoken up about WHO's misgivings, the inclusion of Taiwan in the WHO, Chinese wet markets, and he was also one of the first leaders to call for an international investigation into the COVID-19 origins in China. This has come at a heavy cost to Australia, which shares beneficial trading equations and a sizable trade surplus over China. In a bid to suppress the voice of reason in Australia, China has retaliated with tariffs on imports from Australia across agricultural products, abattoirs, coal and iron ore. The hardest hit are Australia's barley producers as the Xi Jinping regime has slapped 80% tariff on Australian barley. As China imposed steep tariff barriers on the barley imports from down under, the Australian barley producers stare at a huge sales gap of 3.4 million tons of fresh crop. China has been the biggest market of Australian barley since it overtook Saudi Arabia in terms of Australian barley consumption. In 2016 to 2017, Australian barley imports to China went as high as 6 million tons. Therefore, it is not a matter of surprise that huge losses have been predicted for the Australian barley market. The tariffs have been imposed by China for five years and Canberra wants to approach the World Trade Organization to appeal against the Chinese tariffs. But the appeals process is slow and cumbersome and it could take years before the Morrison government finds some relief through trade disputes adjudication. Industry and power groups estimate that the elimination of the Chinese market could lead to the barley sector losing $500 million every year. But while the barley producers in Australia are staring at huge losses, they have found respite in China's neighborhood itself, the world's largest democracy, India. In February, India had opened up its market to Australian barley for the first time. Earlier, Australia was not able to send its barley produced to India because of its use of phosphine, a pesticide. Until now, India required crops to be treated with a different pesticide called methyl bromide. The two Australian states, Western Australia and South Australia, that are major producers of barley, do not use methyl bromide. But as India removed this restriction in February, Australian barley has gained access to the Indian markets. This is a major relief for the barley producers in Australia and now it is planning to export 500,000 tons of malt barley to the Indian market. Australia's strategy is now to use the open market in India to set off the losses that it will be facing due to the steep Chinese tariffs. Grain Producers Australia Chairman Andrew Whiteman told the land the proposed changes are a great opportunity for the Australian malting barley industry, allowing us to look at extending the number of markets for our barley. Barley market insiders in Australia feel that as Indo-Australian ties grow stronger, the volume of barley exports to India could go up to a million tons. And at current prices, this would mean a windfall of about $180 million to the industry. Welcoming the Modi government's decision, Grains Industry Market Access Forum Executive Manager Tony Russell has said, the Indian market offers new export opportunities for Australian malting barley and reduces our dependence on the Chinese market in particular. India's beer market is not as well developed as the Chinese beer market, which fueled Australian exports to the country, but the Indian beer market is also picking up which is why Australia remains optimistic about the demand for Australian barley in India. In fact, when Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison will hold a virtual summit with Prime Minister Modi on the 4th of June, he is expected to strongly push for Australian exports into India, including agricultural products such as barley. Since February, when the coronavirus pandemic led to a shortfall in Chinese demand for Australian goods, Australia has already been pushing for stronger ties with India. Now that Australia's activism against China's opacity has led to economic action from Beijing, which accounts for one-third of Australia's exports, the Scott Morrison government is looking at India to fill in the gap caused by Chinese tariffs. India too has responded by opening up its market to Australian barley.